Hey, my little Reinsteinians, how are you today? My name is Reinstein, and we're playing Kerbal Space Program Career Mode 1.0.5. Today, I'm going to try something a little interesting if I can. I'm going to go and try and do two uh, contracts in one mission. So, I think what I'm going to go for is the Mark 16 parachute test in Flight Over Kerbin with all its little objectives you have to meet. But that's quite good. We get a 28,000 Kerbal credit reward. And we also get some science points, which will take us up to the magic 45, which will enable us to unlock more parts. So I'm going to go for that one. And I think I'm going to go for the radial decoupler splashdown at Kerbin mission as well. Now we can only accept two contracts at once right now because I haven't upgraded this. If I want to upgrade it and take on more contracts at once, which is seven. I can spend 75,000, but I'm not going to do that just yet. So let's go in and design our rocket that we need for this mission. So I think we don't actually need these uh, solid fuel engines. We don't actually need three of these either. So I'm just going to go for two of the radial decouplers because that is one of our things. So we need to make sure we land in water. Um, I don't actually need this much fuel either, so I'm going to get rid of both of those. I uh, probably can get rid of... The, oh, what am I doing? Probably can get rid of the Science Junior as well. We've pretty much got as much science as we can from uh, the height we're going to be going. So I'm going to whack these parachutes back on. And then I'm going to put two of these radial decouplers on, like so. If you try and keep your rocket balanced, like that so I mean it's not unbalanced now then you should be good I'm gonna take off our heat shield as well and if you look at the cost of that it actually costs 220 curbing credits so take that off saving money is always good uh, and I'm hoping this will have enough fuel to get us to how high we want to go which is 4,000 meters and remember we need to change our trajectory so we land in the water so let's just have a look here make sure our staging is correct uh, what am I doing here? Let's get rid of that. Change that. So the last stage is going to be the radial decoupler. And hold on a minute. We don't even need this either. We don't need the stack decoupler. So let's get rid of that. And there we are. Now, fingers crossed. I haven't really tried this prior to recording. So fingers crossed we're actually going to achieve this. But I'm hoping we can. All right, Jebediah is in charge again, and don't need that much velocity either. And off we go. We are away. Now remember, I'm going to tilt ever so slightly sideways so we can go towards the water. And our speed doesn't need to be that great either. It's more about altitude that we need. Uh, we only need 50 meters per second speed, but we need 4,000 meters altitude. So I don't know if I've got enough fuel here, but I'm going to give it my best. I'm pretty sure we will have. Uh, let's just fly a little bit further over that way controlled rocketry this is what I call it um, if, like I said in previous uh, episodes if you're having any troubles with this game whatsoever just get in touch let me know and I'll be glad to help you um, I've actually recorded loads of Kerbal Space Program videos from earlier revisions of the game where I've landed rovers on Duna and all sorts of good stuff so if you want to go and check them out please do so um, but I just wanted to tackle this game so badly uh, while it's uh, now it's been updated and everything. I've just been playing so much of it over Christmas. I want to play more. I just want to play it all the time. I love it. Um, I will be getting back to um, RimWorld as well. So stay tuned if you're a fan of that series. Now we're just ever so slightly creeping up. Will we reach 4,000 meter altitude? That's what I'm not sure about. Our speed is good. Our speed is good. We need to be splashed down in the water. Looks like we might get there. Just ever so slightly keep going. And we are... You know what we haven't got? We haven't got the bloody parachute. <laughs> we haven't got the parachute. I'm doing this whole mission without the parachute. Durr. Hold on a minute. What? Yeah, the Mark 16 parachute. Durr. I'm such a noob. God damn, I'm a noob. Never mind, let's go back and launch once more. Durr. Sometimes I have these moments. Talking and gaming is not a not an easy thing to do. There we go, off we go. So if we go straight up for a little bit. Uh, remember we're gonna have to be frugal with our fuel. And this is probably this is probably the cheapest rocket you could build to get away with this uh, 
to get away with this and achieving these contracts, I would imagine. <laughs> Alright, let's go up. Look at Gemini. I love the look on his little face when he's flying around. He's like, Rah, I've never done this before. What am I doing? Where's my love life led to this? Flying out of a blooming sand pit that's down there. <laughs> awesome. Alright, looks like we're good, I would say. Just want to tilt a bit further that way so we can land safely in the water. If we land on the on the ground, then we have not achieved what we set out to achieve. All right, we're starting to go lower, so increase the increase the thrust a little bit. Uh, Four thousand meters, we need to seven thousand, and yeah, our speed's good. We're nearly at the altitude we need to be, and we're going to be landing in the water, I would imagine, as well. I am a god, even if I'm a forgetful god. All right, ready? I'm going to test the parachute now. Fire! Yeah, we've met that objective. Yeah. Now we just need to pray to the Lord that we're going to land in the water. And we are, by the looks of things. Splendid. As long as our parachute opens, we'll be golden. We will be golden. Hey, we're open. And then, remember, all I'm going to do then, in order to complete the next contract, is be in the water. Press space, because it's in my staging. And then, boom, these things will fly off and we'll have completed yet another contract more money for the coffers of the Kerbal Space Agency I just remember we didn't change our flag I need to change my flag I need a cool flag alright come on touch down you beauty touch down come on ever so slowly now what do you guys think of this game this game has recently been in PC Gamer and won a game of the year award so read that article if you haven't read it freaking ah oh man loads so many people love this game me included. Loved it ever, probably for like two years now, I would imagine. All right, now just press space. Boom, they fly off. Wow, they're just standing there. That's not real physics. Either way, it worked. Crew report, nothing. All right, missions complete. Da -da 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 -da. Shaky beginnings, but we got there. All right, let's go and recover this. And see what we get. We get no science, nope, but we get another 3,070 funds from recovered parts. And jobs are good and two more contracts in the bag. Now, I'm really tempted to go out into space. But I don't know if I need to complete any more of these contracts yet. I guess we could spend some money upgrading some stuff. The one, Okay, there's two things you need to upgrade in order to um, perform maneuvers when you're in uh, orbit or out in outer space. And one of them you need to upgrade is this, the tracking station. It's expensive to upgrade, look, 150,000, but I'm going to do it. Um, and the other one is, is it this one? Flight planning available? I think it's this one, so I'm going to go and unlock that one as well. Can't remember exactly. Capacity, five active Kerbals. I think it's that one as well, possibly. Oh no, but that's for when you, uh, yeah, then you can do EVAs when you're out in atmosphere. But I'm not going to bother with that just yet. Um, let me just check what buildings we've got here. So we've got the Astronaut Complex, Research and Development. There is somewhere where you can go to... Is it this place? Yeah, you can do little campaigns and stuff. I don't want to do a fundraising campaign. Unpaid Research Program. Takes 5% reputation gains. Yields one science for each 2,556 reputation. That sounds good, right? And you can increase it as well. That's a program. Ooh, one science for each 2.38 reputation. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Ah, you can't cannot handle more than 25% commitment. Ah, we're not able to do that. I'm gonna go and do that anyway, I think. Yeah, let's go for the unpaid research. Are you sure you want to activate this strategy? I don't know, do I? Out. Outsourced, let's check some other ones. Outsourced R&D takes 5% funds income, yields one science for each. Blah, 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 that's very expensive. All that public relations, operations. Now I'm gonna leave those for now and uh, perform some other uh, contracts, I think. Uh, so let's have a look. Hall Mark II radial mount parachute into flight above Kerbin. We need to be certain height. Ah, uh, let's go for that one. And test. Thumper solid fuel booster at the launch site. We can do that. All right. Those are... Let's just go for two right now, I think. 
would take a lot of planning in order to meet more than two uh, contracts in one mission, I think. All right, let's have a look. So, hall Mark II radial mount parachute into flight above Kerbin. So, we need to get 4,000 meters. We need to have good speed radial mount parachute. So, I think we could achieve that with this rocket. And then toss test a solid fuel booster. What is it? The thumper. Let's have a little look at that. Maybe we can fit that on our rocket here. The flea solid fuel booster. Hmm. If I attach that to the bottom of here, I may be able to do what it's asking me. Let's see. Solid fuel booster. Then we need an altitude of that. Have Mark II radial mount parachute, which we have. We don't need the radial decouplers anymore. I think that should do it. Let's just put our... Make sure Jebediah is flying it. He is. you got to love Jebediah, man. He's been in since the beginning of when this game was created. So Jebediah is like the lord of this game. Now, I don't know how successful this is, but wish me luck, everybody. Ready? Oh, hold on a minute. That's got to go there. Oh, okay. We need to change that. There we go. I think we're good. No, we're not good. What the hell? This one needs to go there. Yeah, and then that. Oh, hold on. There. Have we got our stage in right now? I think we do. All right. Turn on our sass. And away we go! I hold silver and away! Solid fuel is doing good. Alright, now this gives you a huge propellant early on in your flight and we need to get higher. We don't want to be going too fast, so let's reduce our throttle. Yeah, 4,000 meters to 9,000 meters. We tested the solid fuel booster. Oh, it says no. It says, no, we did not. Maybe I need to go back to launch then. Let's do that. Whoopsie. Slight mistake. <laughs> I guess we just run the test. Hold on. It's the thumper, not the freaking flea. Derp. Let's go back to vehicle assembly. God damn it, Reinstein. You want crazy new, man. All right. Hammer. We don't have the thumper solid fuel booster, do we? Thumper, hammer, flea. Oh my god, it's that big one. Oh damn, son. We gonna be flying high. Oh well, I guess we could put one on the bottom. <laughs> that looks epic. That's gonna blast us into the atmosphere. Jesus Christ. Oh well, I'm gonna go for it anyway. We, yeah, we should be able to do this, right? I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that huge one. Oh my god, where the hell is this gonna take me? Alright, let's get our let's get our uh, contracts up in the top right there. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh dear, and that's not staged correctly either, so mm -hmm. it won't go there, I think, and then that one. Yeah, we're good now. Okay, off we go. Now this thing's got so much fuel in it, this is probably gonna take me into outer space. <laughs> before it runs out of fuel, I would imagine. Oh damn. Maybe we could decouple and get away with it. I don't know. Do you think we could? Shall I try? Yes. I try. Hey, we got rid of it. Where it went, I don't know, but we got rid of it. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think it just blew up underneath me. I have no freaking clue. Either way, we're going to complete two contracts in one, I think, here. Oh, damn. We're getting high. We're getting so high. Uh-oh. Radio man parachutes destroyed. Oh, God, no. You know what? I may be able to survive this, though, because I've got quite a lot of fuel, so I may just be able to land this thing gently. Oh, God. What have I done? What have I done? Completely messed up. But that's part of the fun. Here we go. Ready? Down we go. Down we go. Oh, God. Activate fuel. Activate rockets, I mean. I'm going to try and slow my descent enough to actually survive this. Ready? Are you ready for this? No way. There's no way we've got enough fuel. Oh, God, no. Oh, this is going to be ridiculous. Ready? Ah, no, damn. That nearly blew the game apart. All right, well, um, revert to launch, I guess, and try that again. <laughs> I don't know. Can I just run a test here? I can. Surely that's just going to achieve it. Oh god, we're still off. We're still flying into the sky. You know what, I'm just gonna let it, like, burn itself out. And then 
we'll see if we can complete the next um, contract after that. Look how fast it's getting me. Damn. Now, if you press Alt and uh, the full stop button, the period button, that's what is uh, en enabling me to control the speed of the game here. Now, we've managed to do that part. Um... Oh, damn. What was that explosion? <laughs> well, we've met that objective. Anyway, all right, ready? I'm going to start, like, firing over this way so we just don't keep flying upwards, basically. Because let me just press M. How high are we going to be going here? 82,000 meters. Damn, that's way too high. All right, we want to basically aim downwards now. Don't fly up any higher. Yeah, come on, Jebediah. You got this. Let's do a little crew report. Uh, we can't do one. Aw. Okay, ready? Are you ready, Jebediah? Cut cut the fuel. Cut the cut the propeller. Oh god, we're still flying. Yep, seventy thousand meters. Yeah, what you get once that music hits, that's when you know like you're out in outer space. It's like eh, so peaceful, yet the promise of me crashing is so well, I'm just basically, it's going to happen, isn't it? It's going to happen. Here we go. We haven't even got a heat shield on this thing. Oh, God. We're going to die, everyone. Maybe I can change my trajectory. Yeah, if I can get this little trajectory shallow enough, then we may be able to survive this. I don't think we can. Oh, dear. I don't know how this is going to work. Come on, Jebediah. I'm going to save you. You're not going to burn up, my friend. 30,000 meters. Here comes the heat. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to do the uh, Mark II parachute thing. Let's see. Four nah, no way. No way. We're going way too fast. We're going way too fast, Captain. Slow us down. Yes, I managed to do it. Parachute open. And... Oh, I saved him just in time. Holy crap, that was... Wow. I did it. I'm getting out of here before I do anything else. I'm going to break the game, I think. <laughs> Epic. Gemini is like, don't make me do that again, please. You're trying to kill me. Recover. There you go, Jeb. I got you, boy. I got you back. Holla. <laughs> All right, let's go in and unlock some more stuff now. We can do the temperature thing. Yeah, 45 cents. That gives us the temperature gauge. And it also gives us some radiator panels and some other gubbins that we don't need to worry about. Awesome! Okay, we have completed our third episode now, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. Hopefully you've had fun like I am. Uh, please remember to subscribe if you want to and check out my other videos. Love to hear from you all. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.